Does anyone know what's taking Peter so long? Don't let me down, mate. Now that Peter is gracing us with his presence, hello everybody. In our last episode, we have explained how to diagnose defective shock absorbers and how they affect your car behavior. In this issue, we'll show you how to replace shocks in a professional way. Please have in mind, always replace shocks in pairs. Especially for this video, we have tweaked the shocks on the car behind us a little bit. Peter will start by removing the nut from the stabilizer link. Then we'll have to get the surrounding parts out of the way, such as these wiper arms. Now Peter is taking off the clamping bolt from the axle carrier. This will make it easier for us to take out the strut. What we're going to do next is remove the axle nut and unplug the ABS sensor. After that, we're going to drive the joint out and eventually remove the bolts from the support joint. This makes it easier to remove the wheel carrier from the shock. When you do this, please take care not to drop the wheel carrier because this may damage the brake line and sensors. You may use a gearbox lifter the way we've done here, or if you lack special equipment, some wire will do as well. When replacing the strut, please make sure you use the correct spring plate and that these retaining latches fit snugly on the spring to prevent the spring from bouncing off when tightening it down. One tiny last bit of advice, whatever you do, make sure you tighten all nuts down to the specified torque.
This Mylar original shock absorber comes in 650 different types to cater for some 214 million vehicles throughout the Europe. The piston rod of this shock features a special protective coating which was applied using an electrochemical process. That's right, this finish effectively protects the part against salt, dirt and moisture. On a side note, we recommend you replace the strut mount along with the shock absorber to steer clear of any trouble. Strut mounts are put under extremely high loads during operation, especially when cornering, driving off and braking, and the loads will be amplified when the car, such as the T5 we have test-driven, is heavily loaded. To deal with the problem, our engineers have designed the Mylar HD strut mount kit, which features a more robust spring plate and rolling bearing. Take our rolling bearing. It offers a much longer service life. This is achieved by increasing the number of balls in the raceway, which increases the parts load carrying capability and improves overall load dissipation. In addition, our part is made from forged material, unlike the OE part, which is cast. This improves the load carrying ability of the spring plate and prevents it from cracking. That's everything for today. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching us and we hope to see you again next time. Have a great one. Bye. Well, I guess we're done for today. What are you up to now? Taking a ride on your moped? Moped? I'll give you moped. It's a Harley.